we notice that the trend in ionization energies is to kind of increase across a row in the periodic table. Let's look at that in more detail. If I plot ionization energy versus atomic number, I'll see that for hydrogen, remember we saw that, 13, 12 kilojoules per mole, that's an, a 1s electron. For helium, about 2,400 kilojoules per mole for that ionization. So we see the difference between a 1s electron with one positive charge in the nucleus and 2s electrons with two positive charges in the nucleus. So increasing that positive charge on the nucleus was much more dramatic than adding another electron. It's much harder to pull off an electron from helium than hydrogen. We can continue now. Lithium, now I've gone into the 2s. So I have two 1s electrons shielding that outer 2s electron. And lithium is remarkably easy to ionize, even easier than hydrogen itself. As you go across now, beryllium, 2s2, boron, 2p1, carbon, 2p2, and nitrogen, 2p3, you have a general trend of increasing ionization energy. It's a general trend, and we can kind of rationalize that, because what we're doing is we're adding more nuclear charge, but we're staying in the same principal quantum level. So electrons in about the same region of space, but more positive charge holding them. Of course, those will be slightly more difficult to ionize. As you continue across, there's a slight dip here at oxygen. And I think we can understand that, too, in terms of the fact that nitrogen now is that half-filled state. Oxygen has that paired electron. So what you're doing is saying, I have three p electrons in the nitrogen state. When I go to oxygen, I add a paired electron. That's a little bit tough. Pairing electrons, there's a little bit of repulsion energy. You pull that away, and oxygen's a little bit happy to go from, I'll take that electron away and go to that 3p state where there's three, pair, three unpaired electrons that are all parallel. So oxygen, slightly easier to ionize than its counterparts. And as I go up to P5 and to P6, I have that same trend of increasing ionization energy because of the increasing charge on the nucleus. And of course, then sodium, look how similar sodium is to uh, lithium. Again, we said, remember, elements in the same column of the periodic table. Now I have lithium and sodium that I'm comparing. They have similar properties. It's easy to ionize. Those two are easy to ionize. We have lithium with a 1s, 2s, 1 configuration, and sodium with a 3s, 1 configuration. Whereas when we went across the periodic table, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, we saw a slight increase in the ionization energy. And that increase in the ionization energy reflected more charge in the nucleus, electrons in about the same principal quantum level, same region of space, a little bit more difficult to ionize those. We even understood the little dips and variations in this trend. And we understood that in terms of the fine structure of the electronic configurations. A stable half-filled shell or the pairing energy affecting ionization energies. So this trend is one that we can look at in detail and with the quantum mechanics have a very good understanding of the trends.